Kolkata. What makes this city what it is today? With all its associations that range from fish to football, politics to plays, culture to chaos, Nobel laureates to an Oscar winner, is an idea, an enigma, an emotion. In 1690, Job Chanak landed in Sutanuti, a small village on the bank of the river Hukli, with 30 soldiers, and so began East India Company's journey in Bengal and the beginning of colonization. Shutanuti, Gobindapur, and Kalikat, the three villages that gave birth to Calcutta. Calcutta has not been built in a day. The city as we see it today has undergone a major metamorphosis. It has endured many storms, many crises, starting from partition of Bengal, communal riots, famine, etc. Then the city gradually was able to stand erect with its head held high. Calcutta is proud of the many firsts in the subcontinent. In 1824, the Sanskrit College was established. In 1835, the first medical college was set up. University of Calcutta came into being in 1857 and Indian Association of the Cultivation of Science was formed in 1887. The Indian Museum was the first museum in India, an Hindu college which later came to be known as Presidency College is a symbol of educational excellence. The Bengal Renaissance, spearheaded by Raja Ram Moon Roy, ushered in many socio-political changes, the abolition of sati being one of them. Henry Louis de Rosio, an Englishman, has the distinction of being the first educator in India to disseminate Western learning and science among the young men of Bengal. His radical disciple, Ishwar Chandra Vidyashagur, was a social reformer who fought for widow remarriage. Another Renaissance man was Bunkim Chandra Chattopadhyay, who wrote the national song, Bande Mataram. Michael Madhusudan Dotto, the legendary innovative poet, introduced a new rhyme style in Bengali poems. Our own Rubindranath, born in Jurashako, inspired the freedom fighters, introducing Rakhi Bandhan that indulged in harmony. The modern poet Kaji Nazrul Islam's several revolutionary poems and songs stirred the spirit of all who were relentlessly committed to end British rule. Good sirs and brothers of America, I thank you in the name of the... Swami Vivekananda, whose fame spread far and wide, carried forward the movement that transformed the society through his vision of humanism, replacing age-old values and modern ideas. To some of the speakers on this platform, who those who got Nobel Prize from Kolkata are Sir Roland Ross, Rabindranath Thakur, C. V. Raman, Mother Teresa, Amartya Sen, Obhijit Vinayak Mandapadhyay. The business zone, Dalhousie Square, now known as BBD Bag, is such an example. The writer's building is an epitome of colonial architecture. What was the dear park of an Englishman, Sir Elijah Impey, is today's Park Street. The nightlife of Park Street is glamorous, glorious, and full of grandeur, especially during Christmas. Newmarket is another place of interest in Kolkata that still retains its colonial look and flavor. Kolkata is proud of his many sons. Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose is one of them. 
his Indian National Army aroused the nation to fight against the colonial power. Mother Teresa, a matter of pride, a matter of honor for Kolkata. She dedicated her life in the city and helped those in need. She founded Missionaries of Charity in 1950. A proper depiction of the city is incomplete without the mention of age-old Kaligha Temple, visited by thousands of devotees every day. The city bursts into excitement during football season. Ardent diehard fans of Mohun Bagan and East Bengal create a passionate buzz. If football is the heart of Kolkata, cricket is its soul. And City's Eden Gardens bear testimony to many exciting test matches, one day World Cup events and pulsating IPL seasons. Another significant feature of the city is its political rallies, which began from the time of freedom movement to put an end to the colonial power are still prevalent. These rallies symbolize protests against several socio-political issues. Kolkata is a cultural hub, be it theater or cinema. The city has always showcased the classic brilliance of theatrical performances and cinematic excellence. The city has a rich tradition of theater which began with the initiative of the Russian thespian Lebedev in 1795. So far as cinema is concerned, City's own Satyajit Ray was the first movie director who gave Indian cinema a pride of place in the global arena. Besides, the city has also been depicted by internationally acclaimed film directors like Vinal Sen, Priti Ghatok, Apoorna Sen, Gautam Ghosh, Buddhadev Dashgupta, and Ritu Parna Ghosh, who captured the soul of the city in their remarkable films that have won countless national and international awards. Apart from culture, Kolkata is proud of its culinary diversity and excellence. The city offers diverse palettes. March, Mishti and Doi being the top favorites. Another speciality the city offers is street food. Be it Chinese, South Indian or typically Bengali cuisine, the city takes immense pride in various festivals. Durga Puja being the prime attraction. One must visit Kumartuli to witness the transformation of Madurka from bare straw structure to a divine deity. Durga Puja is no more an exclusive city festival. It is a global attraction. The city wears a magnificent look all four days of the festival. The complexion of city life completely changes. It is a treat to watch mind-blowing pulsating rhythm of thak, spectacular dhunuchi dance, and spiritual anjali. Pandal hopping round the clock at Madak Square, Bag Bazaar, and other reputed puja venues keeps the city alive and awake round the clock. Finally, on the final day, vermilion game popularly known as Shidur Kala add an extra dimension to the festival. Then comes heartbreaking immersion. 
This day reminds us of English poet Shelley, who said, our sweetest songs are those that tell of saddest thoughts. Bidding goodbye to Maa Durga is painful, but everyone is drenched with hope because once again, Maa Durga will be back the following year. Kolkata is a city that is inexplicable. It is colorful. It has a method in its madness. It's vibrant. It's pulsating. A city of joy. A city with a rich culture and a proud heritage. <laughs>